you want to improve your touch, in this video, I'm going to show you how to improve your ball control for soccer. You want to improve your ball control, you want some soccer drills that are going to give you a nice touch. In this video, I'm going to go from beginner to more advanced. But in reality, these drills are not complex. I don't really believe in complex, fancy drills. I believe in drills that actually create results. So let's improve your ball control. Number one, what do we all do? Juggling. So this is where everyone should start. Like I said in one of my most popular videos, how to juggle a soccer ball, five to 500. I said, if you cannot get to 500, or at least to 100, get somewhere where you feel like, I don't really have to drop the ball and I'm just tired of counting. But everyone, in my opinion, young player, your first goal, once you really figure out how to juggle a soccer ball, get to 500. After that, you don't have to count anymore. You can do fancier skills, focus on different touches. But let's come back to juggling. So, nice relaxed upper body. I'm light on my toes if I have to react. The ball is about under, under knee height. Look at the backspin on the ball. Backspin on the ball. It's not going away from me. It's not going left, right, staying right in front of me. Left, right, left, right, nice rhythm. That's the goal, that's the objective. But if you're not there yet, what you need to start with is just getting good backspin on the ball. Okay, so maybe this is where you start. If you're at this level right now, that's totally fine, but you need to improve. Kick, catch, kick, catch, especially on your weaker foot. And as I always say, I don't like the word, I don't like the term, the phrase weak foot. You have two strong feet. One just needs a little more practice. I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. Okay, so especially on your weaker foot, let's fix it right now. It's probably too weak as the phrase goes, but you're not flexing it strong enough. You're not making your foot hard enough. If you're practicing on your weak foot and it keeps dying into the ground or the contact just doesn't feel the same. On here, it's nice and sharp, it's nice and firm. Here, it feels like it's dying into the ground every time. Tighten that up, tighten that technique up. Flex your foot a little stronger. If anything, it's better for you to have a touch that's way too heavy than a touch that isn't heavy enough. So start there, but start with the kick and catch. Backspin on the ball. If you can do about 10 of those with one touch, just go two touch, two touch. Okay, then you go right, left. Because I want you to get you into that rhythm of right, left, right, left, right, left. But very basic, that is where I would start. Okay? Next, if you're a little more advanced, go into the single leg stuff or the more advanced techniques. So I just call these mini touches, but on both feet. Good for your balance as well. It's just a nice, delicate touch. That one will help. Single foot, but a little higher. Putting the foot down every time, getting a nice backspin on both feet. Yes, you can do the thighs. Head. Okay, practicing that, have a better touch than that. But one thing I really like to promote is this directional juggling. So maybe you just start with walking. Because in the match, you're never juggling on the spot. You don't get the ball in the corner of the field and do this. But you might take some touches where you have to move the ball. You have to manipulate it in different ways. So I would start walking and then you can add a bit of pace to it. Running with the ball. Directional ball control. The next ball control exercise that I would encourage you to do is a footstall. I think this is a beautiful exercise for training your weak foot. Because the problem with your weak foot, or your foot that's not good enough yet, is usually you don't have the strength, you don't know how to flex it properly. So practicing stalls, especially on your weak foot, get it in there, really flex it, turn the toes up, squeeze it in there so that ball doesn't leave. That's gonna train your foot really well, but that's a good technique and it's another good uh, ball control drill that I like to do. Then I would move into air control. So 
Maybe it's just popping the ball in the air, bringing it down with the toe. And again, if you're a beginner, it's okay to start with your hands, but I would challenge you to always use your feet whenever possible, even if you're struggling in the beginning. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. Okay, so you can do with the toe, inside of the foot, getting your body over the ball. So it's the timing, right as that ball hits the ground, Boom, then you're on top of it. It's not bounce, and then try to get down on it. Read the ball, anticipate the bounce, get over it, touch, and my body control is on top of it. Outside the foot. We always practice with both feet, don't we? But outside the foot. You could do croy. The next ball control exercise would be an air control. Up out of the air, keep it alive with different techniques. So you can do with laces, inside. Let me tighten up, let me tighten up that left. Inside, go with that. Right, outside the foot, lovely. And obviously, you don't just have to use feet. You need to be able to control the ball with all parts of the body. If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. One of the best tools you can use to improve your ball control is a wall. So start with open touch. Whenever you're comfortable, play a pass against the wall, receive, and go again. When that gets easy, play two touch. So one to control, one to pass. Control, pass. Be on your toes, so if you have a bad touch or a soft touch, you can get there quickly. Finally, you can play one touch which is gonna help you with your ball control, but also your passing, also your ball striking. So focus on being light on your toes, but making good contact. Practicing just as inside of the foot is a great place to start. And then you can go different techniques. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.